All right, all right, all right, Capricorn, what is going on? It is Mira, it is Shira, it is Vera, it is Scorpion Red Zero. I am back at it again, one time for the one time, to let you know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of July 2020. Show me the monthy season. Yes, I hope you guys miss me, because one sign that in particular that I've been quite curious about seeing with the going zones has been going on is Capricorn because y'all be having some very interesting readings y'all I love doing Capricorn's reading child y'all be having a tea going on so listen thank you to every last one of you guys who has been booking liking sharing and subscribing shout out to all my OG shout out to all my newbies shout out to every last one of you guys who's clicked this video and like shared and subscribed at any point in time if you would like to reach out to me for a personal private reading only thing you need to do is click the about tab on my YouTube page or check in the description of this video. Um, send me a message on Instagram. If you don't have Instagram, just go ahead and send me an email. Uh, yeah, send me an email at Gmail. I'm at, uh, excuse me, at my Gmail, which is scorpionreds at gmail.com. And I'll get you hooked up so we can... Um, chitty chat with each other on google hangouts um if there's anyone that would like to send any uh support and love to the page all of these decks except for this one is brand new what you guys have sent to um us you know you guys sent to all of us um through the amazon wish list so thank you so much because we got a lot of new flavor on the table you guys you know as i always do i gotta give love and thanks to the creator before i do anything well first i'm gonna take a sip of some coffee hold on now <laughs> Sha la la, hold on now. Okay, we're gonna give thanks to the creator, then we're gonna get into the T Y Y with me. Yeah, yeah, so let's get into it, you guys. Father God, thank you so much for just coming down and just frolicking and playing with us, Father. We have just been having a great, grandiose little time throughout this experience with the Rona. You know, it's given us time to relax and chill. We've been very sporty, we've been very adventurous we've been starting new projects we've been creating and making new deals and shake rattling and rolling and god we feel like you just been right out there in the playing field with us by our side like just helping us just tackle the world in a whole totally different way on like an entrepreneur stand front and it's just like we are just like very proud of ourselves and realizing, um, you know, we've been having more and more moments where we've been having to pat ourselves on the back because it's like, dang, you pulled that off or like, dang, like, this is really successful or dang, like, you might be on to something. Like, you know, like, we've just been coming into, like, a lot of great ideas, you know, which is bringing a lot of prosperity and financial security and abundance into our life and to the life of people around us. So, Father God, we just thank you because, you know, a, a couple of you guys are in a predicament where y'all are actually, like, employing your kids and, like, your little cousins and things like that to help you guys send some packages out and do things like so. It's like a whole family affair and, like, that's what we love, you know. That's what Capricorn does. Like, the whole family coming together and just like being blessed and not stressed okay facts so father god thank you so much for just keeping us together and they just say clairvoyant it's like you know father god we've been able to like really use our gift of sight to like really see off into the future and just like our visionary dream skill it's like you know ever since this corona situation happened it's just open us up visually where we could just close our eyes and meditate and just literally dream and foresee our future and it's like literally coming into play in every single day like every 24 hours we just make amazing things happen without 24 hours so again i don't want to make this too long father god i just want to give you thanks for all of the signs of capricorns because i know this is resonating and um you're just an amazing God. And I mean, we just, we can't do nothing but just, like, we are not worthy. We are not worthy. We are not worthy. Like Wayne's world, okay? Like, Father God, we just bow down and kiss your feet because you are legitimately, legitimately an amazing, amazing, amazing power. And it's so sad that a lot of people do not get to know you and really use you in their life so that they can reach their greatness and you know a lot of people are really missing out on something that's really really great 
a deep connection and we just thank you you know we pay all homage amen so let's get into this let's get into this his father god just took me there he the hand of took me he took me okay all right we had to pay homage okay to the greatest one all right that done ever done did it so father god give us guidance for my capricorns let me know what's going on with my cappies as um what's my baby oh my goodness his name is Ant. what is his name uh was it cancer 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 moon tarot or something like that i love him he calls his capricorns his cappies let's get into this check out cancer moon tarot y'all he's amazing all right so let's do it. Give me guidance in regards to my Capricorns in their day to day for the month of July. Okay, what is this opportunity for, to forgive? Oh, excuse me. Okay, Capricorn, hold on. <laughs> opportunity to forgive, honey. Now, what's going on? What's going on in this family tree? <laughs> something going on. So, something going on. Now, what's under this? Cleanse and detox. Now, let's. Okay, now. Sure. I'm just going ahead and put that on over there because we listen. Capricorn said I done did enough cleansing and detoxing, okay, to save the universe, child. Now listen, but it's somebody, and it has something to do with somebody in your family tree, very close to you, and it looks like a possibly be. Okay, so this is what I'm getting here. I feel like you guys are in a place of seclusion a little bit. It's like just you and your cub. And like God has been blessing you abundantly. Um, but I want to say that you guys may have really secluded yourself. And you're up in that tree alone. Just covered by the blessings of spirit and God. And just everything heavenly and warm and beautiful. You know. Everything pleasant. Like and you're very comfortable in that way. But I really do feel like it's time for you to forgive. And like. I'm not telling you to forget, but they are literally telling me to tell you to forgive and forget and allow people back into your life. Um, so it is something about your child not being able to experience your family because of your seclusion. Um, and they're telling me that you'd rather be left alone. And I and if don't nobody understand, baby, I uh, I understand. But I feel like your baby is missing out on. Um, this family unit that um is there and even if there is things that's going on amongst you and other people in your family they really do love this child and they're not able to see this child and i really do feel like that's um i i, I like the child needs to be around his grandmother and aunt to aunt. You know what I'm saying? Like, it says this situation brings you the opportunity to heal, grow, and to release negative patterns. It's, it, it, because it's not even for them. It's for you because I don't even have it in my soul to be with you anymore. Like, I'm so spiritually covered. It's not even in me to continue to hold on to a grudge. Let me just use this opportunity to forgive you. And, like, if y'all fuck up again, that's on y'all. Because I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm so good. And it, 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 if anything, it defeats them by me showing you that that shit don't even harm me no more. Whatever was said, whatever was done, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, it has nothing to do and it does not reflect the blessings that's going on in my life. Me and my baby is sitting up here covered by the grace of God and very comfortable, blessed and unbothered and highly favored. Checkmate. You feel me? So it's not for them, it's for you, you know, it's for you, and if, for anything, just to let these know, let these motherfuckers know, can't touch this, do, 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 do. <clears throat> like, for real, like, you can't even touch me in that way anymore, like, you can't bother me, okay, you can't bother me no more, you can't bother me, you can't bother me, let's like, say with me, you can't bother, you gotta say it, like, with the DC accent, with the, with the, the, you can't bother, you can't bother me, okay, <laughs> you can't bother me, girl, Girl, listen, it says, hold the intentions of seeing the other person's inner divine light and goodness. We will help you release unforgiving thoughts, feelings, and energies, and lift you to a higher place of peace and compassion. Just let it go. 
Let it go. I'm going to tell you this. Because fuck all that forgiveness shit. It depend on what the gap that... It depend on what happened. Because if these motherfuckers ain't protect you when you was young, I don't trust these motherfuckers around my baby. And if that's the... Now, I ain't about to go all into the T, ye, ye. But you know me, ye, ye. You already know I don't play this shit. It depend on what the fuck happened, goddamn it. The fuck? Shit. Because you know... Like, um, see, I'm not even about to go into all of that. Cause I'm already seeing so cause cause I'm I'm okay, this is what I'm seeing. Somebody drunk ass sister or drunk ass auntie or something like that be too busy worrying about the wrong things and not really paying attention to the children and something happened when they were when they were younger. You know what I'm saying? Just like someone not watching them and things and I feel like that's something that caused a break between the family and it's like I just rather be and I feel like this person was possibly blamed for something that happened to them because someone else wasn't watching them and paying attention to them and things like that and I feel like that's why they secluded themselves in it in this child what is this the will of um, fortune in the perverse the ten of stones you better have got that now now, now, now listen to me Capricorn didn't I tell y'all I done goddamn told you, listen, the Wheel of Fortune, you said, listen, that unfortunate event that happened in my life, unfortunately, it made me not even, it, God, why are they saying it, damn, that ain't, I don't like that. They just told me it made me reject my own color. I don't know what that, I know what that means. Um, I know what that means, and I, I, I hate that that someone feels like that but there is somebody that I'm going to keep it 100 is somebody that um, because of what happened to them in their family and in some type of thing in some type of secret or something in some type of family tree like they really really do not connect with their family like at all and the people that they actually connect with is possible I don't want to say like these people family is a racist or something like that I don't want to say it's racist but it's like whatever happened in this person's family the people that they deal with now on a soul level is completely outside of their race I mean completely outside of their race it, 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 it's, it's like whatever happened to this person made them not like their people a little bit and keeps their child and everything like away from their people because it's some type of like okay how can I explain this like you okay now you're telling me Middle Eastern shit okay so they're like you ever heard of a situation where like if the innocent child or woman was to get raped and like uh, something bad happened to her, but it makes the family look bad or some shit like that. And they're like blaming her for what happened to her. Like, you know, well, you shouldn't have had that on or well, you shouldn't have did that. And it's like, no, like something bad happened to me. And it's like, whatever this, I don't know if it's a family thing or if it's a... Uh, cultural something but I want to say it's something it's some I guess I just can't do you see how this shirt is that has been woven it's like this person threw it away it's like they don't want anything that reminds them of who they are or where they came from because it's like they're ashamed of it and it's like why I have to go to go through something unfortunate and feel like I'm rejected by my own people to go to another group of people that y'all don't even understand and look down on and they love me better than y'all love me. Do you understand what I'm saying? So like I don't know if this is like a Middle Eastern person that's dating like they're saying Persian. I don't know if like this is someone that's Persian or like um I don't know. It could be any other type of race. And like you could be with a black man or you could be um, 
Persian and you're dating someone that's Hispanic or you could be dating someone that's Chinese or you know what I'm saying? It doesn't even matter. Someone from a different group, color and custom that has absolutely nothing to do so far removed from how you were raised and these group of people and their customs and the way that they love and it's just like a different kind of family type of unit custom that this person isn't used to and it makes them look at their people like why the fuck are my people not like that why we don't get together every Sunday and, and cook like I'm not close with my girl you know what I'm saying so it, it's again something missed that was unfortunate happened to someone a long time ago I feel like this person has a child and it's secluded up in this tree God's been covering them they are all right but it's like at some point I really do feel like you need to go back and face home and forgive them and have this opportunity to at least speak and just show them like regardless with this ten of stones like with me being apart from you guys, I've achieved everything that I've ever wanted to. Like, my my house is strong. I have love. I have a group of strong-knit family. You know what I'm saying? It's not even my family, but they're my real family. You know what I'm saying? Better than the family that I've ever had. And I'm strong, and I'm thankful, you know what I'm saying, for you guys rejecting me and pushing me away because it pushed me in the arms of people that encourage me and love me and that's why I'm successful right now so I thank you if anything you know what I'm saying and I forgive you for the mistakes that y'all made because I culturally see that y'all don't know any better you know that's what it is it's like it's a culture thing it's something about culture it's it's about culture it's about culture. I'm serious. I'm serious. And you see how that house is under that tree. It's like a part. You know. I don't want to. I don't, I don't know if like. This person's family tree now is rooted. In their family. You know what I'm saying? Like everything they do. Like they have family Whoever they have this child with, their family is totally involved with helping them raise the kids. Like, you know, I could, like, she go over grandma's house just to chill just because she like to go over there and get some of grandma cooking and listen to her stories. And, like, I can see the fact, you know, the grandma teaching her how to cook. And it's like the grandmother and the mother. You know what I'm saying? And, like, I even see the father. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, the person's father in the picture. Like, it's... This person is around people that show them what family is. And it's a sense of home and belong and true love. And that's why it's like the angel is telling this girl or this man or whoever it is. It's like you're okay. You're safe. You're comfortable. You can go and face. You can go and face your bloodline. And forgive them. And 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 and. and come back home you know what I'm saying like you're good you're good like whatever happened to you didn't become you you know so what goes up must come down and what was once down always rises and that's exactly what you did so give this an opportunity to forgive right now what is this the five of vessels in the reverse so it's again like you're not even upset anymore about this shit like you're not mourning about it um i want to say like this is something that honestly if spirit didn't tell you like this was something that you needed to do like i don't even think that you would have done it because i don't even think that you were thinking about it it's like you've truly turned around and manifest all your blessings you know what i'm saying like it's like you don't even have nothing to cry about anymore because it's what propelled you forward and put you in the right place man so i don't even think that this is something that even bothers you anymore because you're actually living in the best days of your life because even in the five of cups in the upright as you can see this person is like dancing over top of gravestones you know what i'm saying like a one two three four five different situations person places and things that has 
misguided them, done them wrong, rejected them, confused them, disrespected them in some way, shape, form, or fashion, and they released it and they buried it and they sit down and they're like rejoicing over the fact that I'm getting over this pain and I'm not going to allow this to hurt me anymore. At all, all three is you, all two, three, four is you, all of you. Every last one of these cups down here represents something that happened to this person that they're finally burying and they're removing from their life and they are releasing and enjoying the fact that this doesn't hurt me anymore. You know? That's what this five of cups in this deck <laughs> Okay, resembles to me. So in the reverse, if you are like this in the Five of Cups, in this natural state, you're dancing over the grave tops and the tombstones of shit that have done you wrong and that has misjudged you. Okay? This represents freedom. You damn sure know in the reverse. You, look, if God didn't say, listen, okay, now it's time. You'd have been like, time for what? What? What are we doing? <laughs> like, you done completely forgot. Like, you... Have a home. Do you understand what I'm saying? You have a home. You have everything that you ever hoped and dreamed for. It's like, so why would I, why would I have even been focused on that period? You know what I'm saying? Like, period. But I always know I'm still going to face a better day. So if you tell me I got to go back and address this shit, then, you know, okay, what is this one? The sunlight, the sun in the reverse. So, okay, what does this mean? This is definitely has something to do with your. What is it? That's saying your birthstone. It's like it has something to do with like. They're saying something. Okay, so. It has something to do with your birth. Is it, is it birthright? Now they're saying lineage, heritage, or something like yeah, your birthright, your birthstone. Like you know, it's like okay. So what they're basically saying is okay. So. Every child is like your heart is like a crystal. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like a crystal. My favorite crystal and my, my birthstone is opal. Um, I don't have any opal around. only thing I have around me is like this African opal. This is a form of opal. It's not the real milky, you know, opal, whatever. But it's still opal, right? So... And if you think about how beautiful opal is, it's like you can see the rainbow in the inside, right? If that was my heart, if that, you know what I'm saying? If that is the crystal that represents and that shines in the inside of my heart, right? Um, if something happened to me when I was younger, because the sun represents like ch children, it represents childhood, right? It, it represents an innocence that was lost. Do you understand? I want to say that there was an innocence that was lost here. And it made you to the fact where you didn't want to go back home. You didn't want to see them again. You don't want to touch your home ground. Pick up the soil from where you were birthed. From the place where you were birthed. I feel like someone is so far removed from their birth. From their heritage land, from their from their home tree. You're so far removed from that soil because of something that was done to you that I want to say stole your innocence and your happiness in regards to where it comes to family and thinking back to your youth. Um, it's time for you to forgive because I really do feel like your family is the... One look your original tapestry because what you wear right now it doesn't resemble where you're from and how you grew up and your heritage and your lineage it doesn't you know what I'm saying like you might have took on like a whole totally different culture that wasn't even your own but that was the culture that loved you that was the one that accepted you that was the one who helped you celebrate who you are right anytime you think about going back home and 
having to put on that old wardrobe to deal with those old customs and you know because I really do feel like it's a custom like even when you walk through the door like it's a different I really want to say this has something to do with someone that's in an inter interracial relationship or something like that and like they do not like their people because of their customs and the way that they deal with women and just a level it's it's I don't even want to wear that shit. I don't even want to be reminded of that. Every time someone brings this up about, and someone asks about your family, it's a, it's a sore spot. And then you got to also think about when your children gets older, they're going to ask, well, mommy, where's your family? Or daddy, where's your family? Why don't, why you don't want to go back home? You know, so it's like, you have to get to a point to, and even, like, you know how to deal with people intuitively. It's like you got to release it so that this innocent, this, this innocent that was stolen from this child, this child could finally at least find some peace within itself and really let their heart shine, let that crystal glow. I mean, like, seriously, don't. It's like you can't let things from your past dim your light you know what i'm saying and you're shining now i'm not saying that you're not shining now but that's that one trigger that's that one sore spot you know um you not wanting to deal with home that's that one weak wheel you know on a truck you got that one fucked up wheel you got that one fucked up tire that's that one tire do you feel what i'm saying and it's time to forgive and it's like god got you in this process like i swear once you release and forgive and do it for you that's all that matters man i tried you know what is this courage i'm so serious about what i'm getting right now with this situation y'all i'm so sorry and y'all already know how tarot goes it's sometimes it's gonna resonate sometimes it's not but for whoever this is hitting for this is hitting because these cards, all of my cards, they always tell a story. They talk together. They work together in unison. You know? Courage. It says your lifestyle. It says live your life fearlessly with courage, strength, and determination. If that's that one week wheel and you got a well oil, well running goddamn automobile, man, I'll go and, and adjust and and, and that's the last thing I need to do to have a well-run automobile, the best thing smoking on the goddamn streets. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and fix that tire. I'm going to go ahead. And the only thing I got to do is, like, have an opportunity to speak and forgive and have courage and just address that shit. Shit, I got new clothes now. I got a new house. I don't need none of y'all no more. Like, shit. But you're still my family. Let me have the courage to show y'all how much better I am and that y'all can't hurt me no more. Regardless of whatever, I fucking still love you. Because I do love you. And I miss you. And if things could be better, let's make it better. I already understand y'all for what it is and how y'all are. But I have love back at home. So if there's not love here and I got to deal with y'all however I got to deal with y'all, I'll deal with y'all. But I got love back home. I'm not tripping. I'm good. And I'm not going to let that affect me no more. That's, the, that's a true boss. That's true courage. Take your light back, baby. Take your light back. We not about to let this trigger us no fucking more. You hear me? At the end of the day, anybody ask, nah, that ain't no soft spot for me. I'm good with my mother. I'm good with my father. I'm good with my grandfather and them. Like, nah, I, I actually spoke to them the other day. Like, they good. Like, nah, we talking again. Everything is cool. You know what I'm saying? I know how to hold them and I know how to fold them. You know what I'm saying? They ain't talking about what the fuck I want to talk about. I know how to, to curb that shit real quick and say in my safe in my safe space of comfort. You know? What is this here? Come on, Rihanna, girl. Tell me what's going on in love with the goddamn Capricorns. Y'all done got Miss Riri. I have not had, I have not, I've, I've had this deck for a minute. It's one of my new decks, but I've had it for at least, uh, like, almost a month or two. You know, since the corona and shit happened. I have not had Rihanna flip out not one time. I love... Re Anna. She is the baddest bitch in the fucking galaxy. Bar none. I'm sorry. 
so unapologetically not sorry. She is that bitch. And she is unapologetically she's not she's not sorry for being who she is. Period. Beautiful and grew through everything that she what? She ain't even gotta sing no more, baby. Then Rihanna, look, Rihanna don't even sing no more. How many of y'all don't even do what y'all used to do anymore? Y'all done went and created y'all a fucking Savage Fenty line. Okay, how about she got a successful ass lingerie line that is throwing Victoria's Secret out of goddamn business. And she got the best God, uh, cosmetic line. And it's, this shit is expensive and be selling. And it's quality... Y'all better stop fucking playing. Uh, please don't tell me that y'all don't fucked around and fentied the fucking world, bitch. Okay? How many of y'all don't even have to go back to that job no more? Y'all shit booming. What? You got your little nieces and nephews and all them helping you packing out and shipping out shit. Look. What? The fuck? Come on. It says the better you are, the better it is. Come on. The better you are, the better it is. Sometimes you have to stick it out through the storm. You have to be strong to let... It says you have to be strong to let yourself be weak. Do y'all understand what that says? You have to be a strong-ass person to allow yourself to be weak because it's not in your nature. Being weak is not in your nature. You're a fighter. You're a fighter. It would have took more of you to sit there in that place of unhappiness with your family or wherever it is that you came from, that you removed yourself from. It would have took more strength for you to stay there and dealt with that abuse. You know what I'm saying? To be that weak, to stay there. Like, that would have took more strength from you. You couldn't take this shit no more. You got the fuck up out of there. Do you understand? The better you are, the better. Bitch, do you understand what I'm saying? Be that motherfucker renegade. Be a renegade, ho. Fuck that shit. I'm not about to pay no pimp. The motherfucker beat me, mistreat me, and then take all my money, and I got to go out there. Bitch, I'm a renegade, ho. If I'm a motherfucker be out here tricking a hoe and this shit, that money coming into my pockets. Excuse you, bitch. The fuck? No, ma'am. I'm sorry. Be a renegade, bitch. <laughs> Courage. Listen, come on. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry because I'm now I am. <laughs> now I'm literally seeing like a renegade ho. <laughs> like, no, it's like, what's the point? First off, bitch, I'm Rihanna. Like, I'm the baddest bitch in this motherfucker stable, bitch. You better understand what I'm saying. Please, please get me, get me and get me good. Cause at the end of the day, why would I take my ass out on the streets, risking my life, which it takes courage. Listen, it takes courage to be me, to be the baddest bitch out here. You get me? Facts. You heard my goddamn phone. You heard my uh, uh, my damn thing. Facts. Okay. Shit. Then you think I'm about to give you all my motherfucking money and be... Why when I could put all that shit in my pocket and... Uh, 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 Self-made millionaire type shit. Girl, no. The fuck? I am so sorry. Like, y'all just did me with this Rihanna car. Y'all just did the fuck out of me. Girl, come on now. Look, you gotta be strong to let yourself be weak, bitch. I ain't, I ain't got that much strength in the world to let me sit there and be no weak, bitch. And going out here doing all this shit giving everything what the fuck hell to the hell ass no come on Ada child I said I could come come oh, come on come on Ada fucking child says, bitch you said listen huh hmm Laugh now, cry later. You gonna miss me when I'm gone bitch you gonna cry in the car bitch you gonna cry in the car Y'all acting like y'all don't need me. Y'all acting like y'all don't respect me. Y'all acting like y'all don't want me. Y'all talking all this shit. Like you big puss. I'ma show you who big puss is. It may take me a second. But anything I touch baby is gold. I got the Midas touch out this motherfucker. And I got the training. And I'm willing and able to go out there and kill bitch. You better understand everything I do is successful bitch. You better understand this big money pussy right here. Excuse you. Excuse you. 
I don't give a fuck about, I'm, man, I'm about to shade, bitch. I'm about to shade, and all y'all Beyonce fans, I am so fucking sorry about it. Ah, uh, no. Rihanna ain't got to go out there and sing another motherfucking note if she do not want to. Ever. The fuck? I don't care who people praise and gallivant and hoop and holler or whatever. The real balls show you who the real balls is. And I don't give a fuck about it. I don't care. I do not care. Listen, it might have took her some time to develop that shit. But she make money while she sleep. Only thing she had to do is leave motherfuckers in the dust. Okay? Laugh now, cry later. I bet you won't wish I was still on your team. Y'all better get the fuck on somewhere. Bye. Look. Bye. Bye. See you later, Seymour. Bitch, bye. Bye. Sitting back. I cannot take y'all. Get the fuck out of here. Y'all gotta go. Bye. Y'all don't need no help from me. The fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Y'all just going back to show these motherfuckers that doubted y'all? Y'all fucked around and slept on Rihanna because y'all running around after Beyonce who still got to go out there and shuck and jive for her hoes? Get the fuck out of here. Oh, ah, I'm sorry. She ain't got to sing another song for y'all. Not another one. She got classics, bitch. The fuck? She is putting motherfucking Victoria's Secret out of fucking they're going, they're having out of sale, uh, goddamn, I can't, they going, they have it out of bit. and then the king of fucking wands, listen, they done told you who the boss hog is, okay, the king of wands is the one, is the, is, is the, is the most attractive man out there, is the team leader, is the, uh, um, quarterback on the football field, like, he is the one that everyone is hooping and hollering about, that is the champ, okay, Floyd Mayweather, undefeated, unmatched, highest paid, best looking, okay? Best thing cooking on the streets. You got to understand, it's about having that dominant boss ass energy when you come through. Like, no one should even think that they even have a sliver of an energy. You, They can't even muster up a sliver of an energy to take that smile off of your face, honey. Do you understand that's power? This is a card of power, of dominance, of masculine energy. I don't give a fuck if you a female or a man. I don't give a shit. What is this, the chariot card? It's like you successful and you know where you're going. You're so fucking good. You're good. When you're confident on yourself, it's like I'm going to be good going in and I'm going to be good coming home. I'm walking out of this situation being the champ. I don't have no problem with going and forgiving these people. These are It's an opportunity for me to, like I told you, to show people you slept on royalty you pushed me out the door to my greatness I, I, I'm not even mad at y'all I have no reason to be hating and, and I don't even really got no reason to it's not even that I'm coming to stunt it's just that me to show y'all I know y'all ain't seen me in a long time but I'm okay and if for anything whatever happened however it happened However minuscule or however deep it could have been. Because everyone's story is different. Everyone's story is different. Some people could have just felt like they would, like there was favoritism in their family. And they felt rejected. And they, you know what I'm saying? Everyone's standing in, everyone has a, deep, a different story. Because there's different levels to this shit. Because I've definitely seen some very serious shit that happened here between these, this family dynamic. But whoever... Whoever this is, have the courage because at the end of the day, this unfortunate situation happened so long ago and you're so past it. You're so past it. Forgive these people and release them from this shit. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, they probably walking around with heavy bags under their energy because they know what happened to you and shit. Release these motherfuckers so they can go and try to do something better and prosperous with their life. And if you release them from them and they still decide to be down in the dumps and be shit with themselves, that's on them. But you did what you needed to do and you were free of that and your life will forever be blessed. Highly favored, booked and busy, pulled up on niggas and showed up and showed out. You were that motherfucker and I don't care who, what they say. I'm telling you that you that bitch or you that nigga. Straight up and down. I can't even, I cannot with this energy. Y'all gotta get the fuck on out of here. Y'all, y'all done did me. Y'all done did me real good tonight. Okay, hello? 
Okay, y'all done did me. I gotta go. Y'all hit this like y'all hit this like button. Uh, okay? We a reloaded bitch. Load up the gap. Boom, I'm gone.